Oh, hey guys, it's a nice cool evening. I'm sitting at the courthouse. Uh, I was driving around earlier and I almost say that the, uh, the streets are um, as clear and, and they feel as safe as I've seen them since I moved uh, back, back to the area in 2010. Um, give all the credit to uh, the police department and to the city council that made that happen. Moving on from that, there's a reason I'm at the courthouse because I'm going to talk to you about uh, some legal stuff. Um, you know, this old Brad Imperial uh, made a post about needing to use uh, eminent domain and uh, inform uh, uh, when we demolish houses, form land banks to, to uh, you know, sell the land and stuff. That's actually in our comprehensive 2010 comprehensive plan suggesting that suggestion that we do that now the mayor um, asserted that that was illegal now bear in mind that he used to work for the company that represented uh, the city in a lot of its uh, demolition lawsuits uh, and then Brett went to uh, his own lawyer uh, uh, acquaintances and to uh, some people he knew in Charleston on their uh, I don't know if it's their city council or their urban renewal authority talk to them and they said uh, it's absolutely legal we use it here all the time um, and Brett linked the law uh, to, uh, to the laws and the codes of how it could be done um, so why is he saying it's illegal? Well, I think another councilman gave uh, gave it away a couple days ago. He was saying, in defense of the demolition program, you would not believe what we're demolishing some of these houses for. In some cases, all these people have to do is hook the water or electric up. Uh, and they won't even do that. I don't feel sorry for them. You know, I'm paraphrasing them. All right. The thing... The thing with taking land by eminent domain is that you have to pay the owner a fair price. You try to negotiate with them. If that fails, then you take them to court. Um, and the court will a lot of times use a third party uh, assessor or a third party estimator and install appraiser to find out what the property is worth and make a judgment. So if you take someone into court and the only reason their properties on the demo list is water not hooked up? What do you think the judge is going to award them? I say at, at least forty thousand dollars, and that's for you know a low end house in Clarksburg. So it's pretty clear that the city didn't want to use them in a domain because then they couldn't target people like Martin Schaefer in the Maxwell Duncan house. The utilities were still hooked up in that house. The only thing it was condemned for was a post holding the porch, front porch up. They went into federal court and tried to yeah, argue some stuff and the, and the judge was not having it. Um, and they know that if they started doing this eminent domain stuff and try to tear down some of these bigger buildings or nice homes, the judge is gonna say, yeah, okay, you owe them a quarter million dollars. And there goes the demolition program up in smoke. They know this, so that's why they just tear them down, use a demolition lien, and brag about uh, their numbers. <laughs> I'll catch you later.